guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching Battlestar Galactica. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching episode 18 of season 4 of Battlestar Galactica. I'm ha, mad at Boomer. Really mad at Boomer for taking Hera um, for spooling up her FTL and jumping so close to Galactica. Um, that I think is like a domino effect of things. Like one, no sympathy for Boomer anymore. It, it kind of doesn't really matter what happens from here on out. I have lost sympathy for Boomer and her situation. As much as I wanted her and Chief to make it to be together, you know, I had like that that moment, that reunion, that like that that whole uh, projection of like what their life could be together. And you know what? I can move on from that, but I don't think Chief can. And that's really unfair of her to do. That really is harmful to him. Um, equally, you know, beating up Athena and Athena watching you, you know, take advantage of her husband, which... I don't even know what to think about that. That's a, the issue that I have with most female Cylons on this show is that they try to just use sex for everything. And I'm like, stop it. But <laughs> that being said, like, like Athena was watching it go down. She was like, you know, knocked unconscious, beat unconscious. And, uh, you know, that the, the Boomer took Hera. Like, and I know it was for Cavill and it, like, that's probably where she's jumping to. And I think Hera is like, obviously the key to all of this coming together. Um, but Hera's drawings, first of all, like I was just like, oh, she's drawing a line of stars. And I thought it was a map somewhere. Um, apparently it was music notes for Starbuck to play music with her dad. In her mind, a projection of her mind, she's got a head daddy. I'm not sure. But, like, she didn't recognize him as her father. You know, uh, he was almost a supplementation for her father. Um, but, you know, it got her to play music again and get in touch with that part of herself that she tried to forget after her father left. And, you know, she's playing the music now for Sam. She started playing the music. And I'm, I'm not great at recognizing that song in particular. I didn't listen to that song. Even after the episode, everyone's like, it's along the watchtower or whatever it is. And I was just like, okay, cool. You guys know it. Um, so when she starts playing it, it doesn't really occur to me and still, until they start playing like the, the actual version that we heard before. And I was like, oh, oh, not only is Starbuck playing it, she was taught that when she was a kid and Hera wrote down the music notes. The connection there is insane. I still don't know what Starbuck is. I was like, is it time travel? That doesn't make sense. Is it... Uh, and, like, I base things on logic and reasoning. Never, never, you know, the... The hopes and dreams and prayers and whatnot. <laughs> like, like, so to me, I'm like, make it make sense. And I want it to be rooted in science. I don't think I'm going to get that. I think it's going to be rooted in religion and belief and faith. And which is fine for these characters. Absolutely. That just kind of makes me a little... <laughs> <laughs> I wanted a really scientific explanation. I don't think that's what I'm going to get. Um, and, you know, all the, the the Cylons hearing it and wanting to know why Hera wrote down those music notes, how she knew that song. Um, I think that that's going to make them very compelled to not only find Hera, but to help Galactica. Um, but with the FTL, you know, from, from Boomer's Jump, you know, it blew a hole into Galactica and she was already very fragile. She She was... She, she could only make a couple more jumps before she was done. And that's upsetting and that's sad and that's heartbreaking. And she's my favorite character of the entire show. And I don't want to see her go down. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that the Cylons can, you know, keep her repaired, keep her together. Um, my ship's dying and my heart is breaking because of it. So, <laughs> ah, ah, I have to stop crying about it. Okay. So it seems like all the storylines are crashing together. The one thing that I know Hera is also linked to is the president and the president fell. And I don't know if like, I mean, obviously I think she's going to die at the end of this show because that's what was foretold. Um, and if she doesn't, I'll be like, you know, quit playing with my heart that way. That's not nice. Um, but I think Hera, you know, saving her life when she was in utero 
And and her being linked to Hera now, I think that that is definitely a connection. I think Hera was meant to save her life, to get her to the end, to lead them to wherever they're going. Um, and and uh, I I. Th- I th- I think that's a great little, you know, tie to put on, tie, <laughs> a little bow to tie on the top of the uh, Rosalind storyline. It does break my heart for Admiral Adama because he loves her and she is important to him and she's important to us, but he's important to us. And, you know, he's watching his ship die. He's watching his woman die. Like there's like, like Starbuck is struggling. All of these women that have been in his life have gone away, you know, D and, and Boomer. And like, it's just been one after another, after another, after another, after another. And he's just suffered loss after loss, after loss, after loss, even starting with Zach, maybe the original, you know, Cylon War, his wife, all of, all of those things are culminating with him. And he's just trying to get these people to the end. <sighs> I love him for that. I, I love him for, for everything that he is. Um, and, you know, where, where you know, Galactica is is the body that's getting us there. I think, you know, he's the, Admiral Adama is the heart and soul that is Galactica, you know, and, and then they are very connected to each other, just like all of these other people are connected, whether it, it's Hera, with whether it's Cylons, whether it's Prophecy, because then you still have Gaius, who's like, I think, meant to actually lead people, which is a really weird thing to say out loud. But the fact that he went to Adama and the president, actually, I don't know if the president was in the room, but he went to Adama and he asked for guns so these people could protect themselves against some of the other people that were trying to steal their food. And I think that Gaius he's, he's still Gaius, right? Like he's, he hasn't changed that much, but I think now he's using his powers for good. I'm hoping, I don't know. The The whole thing with Gaius throughout the entire show has just been like this wave of like, I love him, I hate him, I love him, I hate him, I love him, I hate him. All the while, I know he's responsible for all of this. Inadvertently, he didn't realize that was what's going to happen. He didn't realize that that's what he was supporting, but here we are. Um, you know, so I, I, again, I love James Callis and I think that he's a magnificent actor. I think Gaius Baltar is such an intriguing character. I just don't know if I can trust him on any level. I want to. I love Gaius. I don't want him to go anywhere. I hate Gaius. He's responsible for the, the fate of the humans, you know? So like, I just want a nice, clear answer on what the hell is going on in that guy's head. We'll probably never get that. And I'm just going to have to live with that. So we need to catch up with Cavill. And I think we are going to see that. I think we're going to get Boomer and Hera meeting up with the other base star. Um, and I don't know if Hera just touches his face and says, like, I love you. And he experiences love for the first time. And boom, changes Cavill. I doubt it. <laughs> That's a very magical, miraculous thing that I hope for. And that is very not Battlestar Galactica. So... I'm just going to have to tamper my expectations as to what is going to happen with Cavill. Blow him out of the stars for all I care. Just save Hera. At this point, Hera is the only person that like needs to make it out of that alive. So guys, I'm nervous to get into this episode, but I'm going to do it anyway. So let's get into it. I'm more mad at Boomer for that than anything. I think Hera is going to be okay because she's destined to bring them all together. Oh, they had her just playing on the ship? Or... Wait, that's Galactica. Uh, Galactica's going to ram into a base star? Please don't. Inferior ally. Otherwise it's our fault. That this goop of yours isn't doing crap, except making this place smell like the inside of a latrine. Hey. Oh! Ah! <sighs> if he wants to try to determine what made her a successful human Cylon hybrid, he'll take her to the colony. Yes, that's. I've been wondering about that. It's where we and the Centurions went after the first war. Once we convince them to abandon their own experiments with evolution in exchange for resurrection technology. Why are we just now hearing about this, though? 
Something is happening here, something that is greater than all of us, and that little girl is in the middle of it. Yep. She's the key. <laughs> That's Sorry. what I'm saying. In other words, it's our destiny to go after her, right? Yeah, I don't like it either, sir. <laughs> Wrong. I've had up to here with destiny. With Same. Prophecy, Same. With God. Same. With gods. <laughs> Look where it's left us. Oh, gosh. She has sent nowhere. You don't have any other choice. We're alive, Bill. Four years ago, I wouldn't have taken odds on that. At least give us a recon bird. We can see what we're up against. Yeah. Come on, Admiral. Make it a heavy raider. I don't want Hilo and Athena to find out about this. Oh. Because they'd want to go, I'm sure. Oh, sweetie, I'm sorry. Look at me. You hate me, don't you? You didn't know. How can anyone hate Hilo? He's perfect in every way. Don't say it. Don't say it. Okay, we're all having the visions. Okay. Okay. Linked. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. She just saved his life. Save their lives. She just saved their lives. Oh my god, this show. Oh my god, they're on scaffolding. Oh god. She's bleeding internally. Prep up the surgery stat. Right away, ma'am. Did I hear this is Jamie Bamber's wife? Transfer to her, her bishop. That'll be the frickin' day. That's exactly what I said. Yeah. Bring <laughs> it on top of this repair detail. We'll straighten her out. You guys are so proud, though. Must be tough to sing goodbye to both of your women at once. Yeah. That's what I said. Mr. Adama, but it sure seems like we're putting a lot of power into the hands of some people. And I use the term loosely. Who not so long ago were doing their damnedest to wipe us out. And what choice do you have? <laughs> I am submitting my requisition now for Galactica CO2 and particulate. It's the best time for it. Yeah. As long as we get just, just start parting her out. Just gutter. Wait Obviously, we will have to do a complete inventory of Galactica's equipment. Maybe even a lottery. Comparable distribution of all the equipment. No, this is to be for one goddamn minute. <laughs> removes so much as one bolt from this battle star not until the admiral tells us we can really thank you what does gaius baltar say about that gaius baltar <laughs> great line delivery there if you find yourself straying from the one true path then perhaps you'll be lucky enough for god to send you an angel mm. I knew it was a connection like that. Damn it. What science? <laughs> I believe in these angels because I see them. Wherever you are in the fleet, this is Gaius Baltar wishing you a beautiful day. Now, what does he have to say about Galactica and her parts? Because apparently that's important to the council. Colonel Ty would like a meeting. Colonel Ty, always a pleasure. Ah, oh. Colonel Ty wants a meeting with Gaius. That's interesting. Oh God, the sound editing in this episode has been amazing. Excuse me. She's not the one. She's the only one. 
Excuse oh. Me. Caprica. Caprica six. Oh. Wow. Okay. Hi. I'm not aware of your current situation, but if you need a place to stay, no desire to join your harem. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Directed by Edward James Olmos. Oh my God. No wonder it's been amazing thus far. If you wanted to. You haven't changed, guys. Not really. He still loves you. You see, the problem is, I have. <sighs> Well, I believe he was heartbroken in that moment. I truly believe it. Okay, it's the first time I've ever seen them doing work on the outside of Galactica. <laughs> I know they don't always have to show it, but I'd like them to. Girl, is that what I should call you? Zol. Zol. Aww. Okay, Ty being tender. Like this past Thank season you. has been just something. Thank me. For what? For the privilege of finally being able to meet my father before I die. <laughs> you shouldn't be thanking me. I spent most of my life trying to kill your kind. <laughs> Too much confusion. <sighs> <sighs> oh, oh, oh! Said Jupiter. <laughs> I want my mommy. Yeah, she knows you're not her mom. I want my mommy. Yeah, you couldn't comfort her before. You can't comfort her now. You know what? It's too bad they never upgraded the FTL on this relic, but if you think I'm gonna put up with your sniveling and your whining for another dozen jumps, guess again! Oh, boomer. Grow up. See if you can cry in your sleep. What? 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 Might be a long snooze to you because these don't come in kitty doses. You're gonna kill her. Don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, boomer, you jerk. Oh my god, practice patience. Buzzed <sighs> my. Kleenex box was in the wrong spot. Did he turn himself in? Is that Athena? Oh, she's... She's not happy with you. I have all her memories from before the war. To help pull heal on to thinking I was her. Ironic, isn't it, now that she's returned the favor? Yeah. I am not finished. Yeah, I think that's about right, Chief. You're really angry, Athena. I get it, but be mad at Boomer. She's the one that did it. He didn't know. Easy for me to say. Come on, you've got to be hungry. Eat this. Hunger strike. <laughs> yeah, suck it, Boomer. <laughs> I'm so mad at her. Do you know what I do sometimes when I'm sad? Mm. I go to this special place. House where I wanted to live with a man that I loved. Mm. Oh. You can see this? Of course she can. She's Hera. Mr. Spock? Shaving on a ship that's about ready to fall apart seems incredibly it. scary. The latch was busted. <laughs> Do you really believe all that bilge you were spewing on the wireless? I still don't bilge. know. Angels. Yeah, I do, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. And you've seen these angels for yourself? With alarming regularity. Fair enough. Clarity. That must be important when you're full of crap. <laughs> I 
took these off my body, what was left of it anyway on Earth. I used to be a scientist, run some tests. The only thing I know for sure, I'm not an angel. <laughs> for sure, not an angel. <laughs> okay, but what is this? Is this where Sam is? Is he hooked up to a hybrid? Or hooked up like a hybrid? You gonna wake him up like Sleeping Beauty? The power of love. I remember when I told you that if I found out you were a Cylon, I would put a bullet in your head. Mm-hmm. Is then he got a bullet in his head? All yeah. I can think about is how I can get you back. <gasps> That's how I'm gonna remember you. Oh, uh... The Nero anatomy of fear and face share common effort. Is he gonna yell jump and they jump? Do not fear the word. You are the harbinger of death, Gareth Race. You will be the mold of their end. End of life. <laughs> New command. Resume function. Resume function. Holy shit. Theoretically. So theoretically, he could jump the ship if he wanted to, just like yours did. Yep. End of line. Commander oh, team. Great, that's Along all we need. Mm -hmm. Take him offline. Oh, I don't like that it's like pulling a plug. I hate that. But when something's wrong, something's out of place. She's just staring notice. at him in love. A cop's eyes always notice. What? She loves you. You look spiffy. <laughs> Don't worry. Cuddle won't mind. It's medicinal. <laughs> Guess what I'm thinking about right now. Cabin. Give me a hip. Mountain. The cast stream running into a little lake. Your cabin. The one you wanted to build. The one I never did build. <laughs> Why would you do that? That's a, that's a stupid fracking word. I mean, what's it? What's, what does that mean anyway? Yeah. It's Bring like her off. Important. <laughs> <laughs> I want to drink with Hilo. Of course, it could also mean you like um, Harold. Mm. Angel. Like an angel, right? Don't know. Okay, so I'm like death's frat buddy, whatever. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't care. I think you do. Shut the frack up already. What? Because you're here. My daughter isn't. She was the one pure thing to come out of this whole miserable mess. So sorry. If I don't feel like sharing your pain right now, Captain. It's fair. Kara's problems and Kara's pains are always at the top of everybody's list because she makes it that way. Get off the piano. That's a, get off the piano. Oh. Get off the piano. I broke. I broke a glass. Not shocked. So Gaius is going to do some science. I love when science is done. So science might prove what she is. What? What happened? What have information on there of where they need to go? Still need to hear from Ellen about that. Just before the Civil War. And you have no idea where he moved it to. How do they find it? Damn it. How does he move a whole colony? I guess it's not a place, it's a people, right? Go back, Boomer. Take her back. Okay. 
They never showed that heavy raider leave searching for Hera and uh, Boomer, though. I'd like your permission, sir, to dig out a raptor to go and look for my daughter. I'm sure Athena would be willing to pilot and we have already sent out a recon mission. We're looking for a facility we knew Boomer would probably take care of, but it was no longer there. Oh, that's who went. Okay, okay. Maybe I can find something. He's gone. <sighs> I've lost a son, and you've lost a daughter. But I can't condone a suicide mission. Let it go. How is he supposed to let it go? Oh, he you want me to let it go? Please don't do You're this with him. Can't let go. Don't do this. The holes in this bucket. The ship is dead. But my daughter might still be alive. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. He's just hurting. One, one raptor, Admiral. Please. <laughs> he has done everything that's been asked of him. Every single thing. We must understand. Grant us the strength. That what we sacrifice here today. The wisdom. Are women and men. Because that is what we are. Voyagers. Traversing the stars. Oh. In search of grace. grace. It's actually very beautiful watching all those people speak and saying things like that and just trying to find comfort. What is he doing with those dog tags right now? The DNA analysis is a hundred percent proof positive match for one Captain Kara Thrace. I told you there were angels walking amongst you. Ask yourself! She will not deny Oh, Gaius. Oh, a slap instead of a punch. Yeah. Dismissed he everyone. should not have revealed that in front of everyone. Now. Oh my god. Eddie is scary. That was an intense scene. Oh, Starbuck, do not put your head in a bottle. Don't do that. Go see Sam. Go see Sam. Guess not. Guy shouldn't have done that in front of everybody. and That's wrong. I feel like I just watched him go through all the stages of grief, and I think he's at the moment of acceptance. Bear's killing it with the score. <laughs> Same. Same, to be honest. I don't care what you think you saw. I watched your viper explode. Don't care. Because I'm Lee. And you're Kara. The rest of it isn't worth a damn. Please don't kiss. This is all that matters. I'll see you around. <gasps> I'm glad they didn't kiss. You can say goodbye to that old version of yourself, too. Oh, he painted the whole thing himself? Other than crying in the it? Orders that I want the crew to start stripping down Galactica. I'm gonna start off loading the civilians by tomorrow. Wow. Acceptance. Full crews and ordinances transferred by the end of the week. What? Yeah. Time to say goodbye. We're abandoning ship time. No. No, you can't do I this. Know. <laughs> I have to, so. She's dying. <laughs> You've never let me down, so. I can't blame you for being what you are. Especially since it includes being the finest officer and friend I've ever had. 
This ship never let us down, so we're gonna send her off in style. <laughs> I hope not the way Hera showed it. Or maybe it might be a beautiful send off in battle. Ellen was right. If anyone's old around here, it's me. Two thousand years and counting. And I still got my own teeth. <laughs> she was a grand old lady. The grandest. To Galactica. Best ship in the fleet. To Galactica. <laughs> <laughs> well, where is this? Is this the colony that they moved? <sighs> Whoa. <sighs> These things look so dope on the inside. Boomer, why don't you just take her back? You jerk. Don't worry. We'll take good care of her. <sighs> Hope you feel good about yourself, Boomer. The old me is dead and gone. Same as the old you. Just took me a while to accept it. Which brings us to the larger question. Yeah. Why am I here? Inside of conversation, I'll just tell you my theory. Okay. I think it has something to do with this music. There's a pattern there, a pattern that I can't see, but I think that you can. <laughs> so we are going to sit in this room until we figure it out. Talk to me, Sam. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so much happened. Um I was going to save it for last cuz like that's like the big finish is um the Galactica is dying and we are abandoning a ship. So at the very beginning of the episode, Hera is like sitting on like the uh, wherever they, with the battle plan CIC thing, and it had Galactica charging into the base star. I don't know if that's something that she's foretelling, because, like, she wrote down the damn notes. She had six, like, you know, in her drawings. Like, I don't know if that's going to be the end of Galactica, like it was the end of Pegasus. <laughs> But I definitely think this entire episode was watching uh, Admiral Adama kind of come to terms with letting go. Um, you know, he doesn't want to let go of Galactica or Rosalind, and he really doesn't have a choice. But what he can do is the best of what he can, which is to help the entire fleet. And when the whole council is talking about, like, taking parts and, like, like who wants what and, like, pretty much is calling dibs, I was like, geez, like imagine getting into like a car accident and they're like, well, she's going to die. But like, you know, uh, let's 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 start divvying up parts. Who who wants one to the highest bidder, whatever, whatever it may be. And, and people saying like, oh, I want those lungs and I want that liver like she she isn't gone yet. And the the the, the person who is essentially her heart and soul, you know, he's the final say. And I'm very happy that he got to that to where he is willing to accept it and let her go but kind of like on his terms to like it be his call not because he's being forced to or because it's like one of those things in the middle of battle where you know he he really doesn't have time to think about it and has to just do it in that moment and in this way he gets to kind of mourn his loss a little bit he gets to witness that pain, go through it, deal with it, accept it, and then move on. 
Um, <laughs> good for him because I can't. I'm not. I'm not okay with it. I mean, I have to be. I don't have much of a choice. But um, she's just such a great ship. How come the Rasenate is bigger than her? <laughs> that doesn't seem right. <laughs> <laughs> I need to like be able to move them so the Rossi is like really far back looking small because <laughs> I doubt they're the same size at all. <laughs> but in uh, like as you could tell, like I love my ships. Like I'm very like when they renamed the Rossinate, uh, like I was like, what? You can't do that. Like it 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 it's 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 there's a special bond i think between viewer and in the ship and you know uh, the the people who live in it and the people who pilot it and the people who man it and then the people who call it home and i love that rosalind was talking about like the cabin and and you know we kind of have that kind of correlation between you know boomer and chief having the house and thinking about the house and Rosalind thinking about the cabin and all these people are longing for home, whatever that may be. Um, sometimes, you know, a home isn't just a place. It's a person. It's people. It's family. It's friends. It's a location. It's a feeling, you know, and I, I think that for for Rosalind, you know, she just like almost like wants to know that or, or to to leave a place leave this world in the comfort of her own home. And that could be in the comfort of the arms of the Admiral. That could be the comfort of, you know, seeing the place where humanity will settle. You know, all of these things, I think, you know, you could call home and it's very poetic and it's very beautiful. Now, I've wanted a scientific explanation for Starbuck and I kind of got it. She's dead, but like the old Starbuck, the new Starbuck, reborn um I, I don't know i like i said i think there's going to be a more like biblical explanation for it than there will be scientific and you know what great science fiction cool we got the science we'll get the fiction and I, again i'm not mocking anybody's religion or anything it's just in this show in particular i'm kind of like Ugh. I want a better explanation than that. But that's something that I'm seeking. And like, you know, I think I've accepted the fact that even though I get frustrated by that, that I'm probably not going to get those answers the way that I want them. And that's okay. That's completely fine. Um, you know, I, 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 I would imagine this, like some people feel the way that I do. Some people are in the middle and some people are very much like, no, I think that this is a, a great thing to explore. And I, I do think that it is a great thing to explore. You know, I um, it's funny because I just watched the movie Coco, who Eddie did a voice in, and he happened to play a very particular character that, you know, about faith, moving on, remembrance, all of those things. And, you know, like those things still like affect me emotionally because I think that they are beautiful to believe in and, and, and have feelings for. Um, and I think that, you know, Guy is overstepped by like telling everybody that Kara is dead and that whoever she is, you know, she is now an angel. Um, I don't know if he's going to be a shepherd of a flock, if he's going to be a leader of people, if he's going to be the leader of a cult. I'm not quite sure what Gaius is, but I, I do believe he is very much still in love with Caprica Six. Um, I never doubted the fact that um, they loved each other, especially in the third season. I definitely was like, yeah, no, that's that's real love between those two. Um, and, and Head Six still don't really get the explanation for her. Like, could be a guardian angel, could be a... Uh, broken fragment of his mind still trying to help him cope. Maybe, you know, she goes away once uh, he's done his destiny, which is to lead these people. Um, I still find him a very intriguing character, but he overstepped a bounds by telling people about Kara. But Kara needed to accept the fact that that's what happened. And I think she already knew that, obviously. And I don't know how you forget seeing your own dead body and giving yourself your own funeral and eulogy-ish. Um, and, you know, I also don't blame Hilo for being like, well, you shut the frack up about it. Like, man, like and and it's true, like the past four seasons, it's just like Starbucks get all these problems. And, you know, uh, I, I 
I think her willingness to accept her fate at, actually will help her through that. And and you see her reaching out to Sam and Sam being a hybrid. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. Is there a way to come back from that? Or is he just now a hybrid? Like he's done so. Um, I hope they figure it out. And I, I do think Hera's the key. I've been saying that. The fact that she created like the notes and she, you know, wrote down like the sixes and drew the six. Like I, I do definitely think that Hera, you know, is um, the key to something and writing that music down. I don't know how it all connects. And I can't wait to watch the the last three episodes. I, I believe I'm watching them all at the same time as like one big movie. They will be edited down into three separate reactions just because copyright would be a bitch to do the whole thing at one time. But, you know, um, I'm still really mad at Boomer. I'm mad at Boomer for what she did to Chief. And, you know, Athena, like, hates Chief. and I think that that's very much misplaced anger, but at the same time, if it wasn't for him, this situation wouldn't have happened. But Boomer being able to emotionally manipulate Chief that way, regardless if the feelings are real or not, it was a manipulation to get 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 another task done, and it was for Cavill, of all the people in the world. Ick. Ick. But her yelling at Hera, like, I was just like, girl, like, no. That's that's not how we treat kids. You know, uh, again, I don't have children, so I don't know the perfect way of handling that situation. But yelling typically does not get the job done. Threatening to drug them and poke them with a needle. Probably not a good idea. Um, you know, and, and I think her taking Hera into her projection and showing her, you know, her daughter's room. I think that's really helpful. I think that's a bonding moment between those two. But Hera, you know, crying for Boomer at the end there, and Boomer crying, good. Good. I'm glad that hurts Boomer. Not that I want her to feel pain, but I want her, I want to know that she knows what she's doing is wrong. And I think in that moment, she really does realize it. And and she's the one that just kept going forward with the plan. So the feelings that she feels from here on out, you deserve to feel those. And I hope you feel every bit of them. It's so funny how much I just absolutely loved and adore Boomer. And then they took her character and just kind of made her into this. Now, again, three more episodes. I don't know how they're going to wrap it up. I don't know what that looks like. But I will say that, um, you know, even if there's a redemptive arc, I might say thank you. But I, 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 I don't. Mm, mm -mm. No. And, you know, it's so amazing what Grace Park can do because I believe Athena hates Chief. I believe Boomer loves Chief. Um, I believe that the Cylon lying in the bed talking to Saul saying, like, I just wanted to say or, like, see my my father before I die. Like, I, I don't know how you play the same character differently, but it, it's just enough for me to believe that it's a different character. It's so good. It's so good. And, you know, Saul really you know, being the best exo and the best friend he can be to Bill. And even in that last moment when he's like, I'm not going to let you do this. And Bill's just like, you're one of the finest officers and the best friend anyone could ever ask for. Like, you've always done what I've asked of you, but it's time. And, you know, uh, the, the difference in Ellen that we got in the conversation where she's just like, you know, like, almost like, like, we've been together for how long? And like, you love Bill Adama more, you know? It's just different. It's just different, you know. Um, but it's it's almost a bond of brothers. Like they they have a brotherhood bond. Um, and you know, even Rosalind saying like, "I think you love Galactica more than you love me," and neither one are saying it out of an insecurity. Like they're not saying just like you love this ship more than you love me. They're saying like, "I know." And you know if. If 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 they're saying that and then they're saying like more than me, I mean, if if this is how much he loves Galactica and this is how much he loves you, that's a lot. That's a lot. Now, with Galactica falling apart at the beginning and having the Cylons, you know, kind of fighting with the humans about the repairs and then the one six giving her life to save them. I thought that that was such a wonderful, beautiful moment. And if that doesn't like build trust with those people that you're working with, regardless of how much you know, pain the Cylons caused. It's like, it's like you can blame the top Cylon 
you know, leaders, but the rest of them, like, they might be good people. You know, it's like governments at war. You know, you, you hate the people that are at the top, but the the regular citizens, like, you you can't blame them for what these people are doing. Um, and I love that that proved that, like, she was willing to sacrifice herself to save his life and, and the rest of Galactica. If that door doesn't close, you know, they could implode. That would have been horrible. Oh my God. We also got a really beautiful moment between Lee and Starbuck. And I was like, please don't kiss. Like, I'm so sick of like these two having like this weird on and off again. It's hot. It's not kind of relationship. And it was a very tender moment. It was a very caring moment. And I thought it might go there. And I'm glad that it didn't. I like this relationship that they have is that they're two people that care about each other. Lee letting her know that he believes in her. He witnessed the whole thing. He saw the whole thing and he does not care. That is his Starbuck. That is who he loves. And that's who he knows. And that's who he supports. And I think she needed to hear that. Um, Oh, man, these characters, they've made such an impact in my life. And I'm really sad to watch the end. And I wanted to delay it as much as possible because I know that, like, saying goodbye for me is going to be really hard, whether it's Galactica or the characters or even you guys that watch every week. You know, it just means so much to me that you love this show, but you love watching me watch this show. And I can't thank you enough. But, guys before I start blabbering about my love for you. <laughs> if you want to watch the full length reaction to this episode, it will be available on my Patreon and up to three episodes early because there's not very many after this one. You know, the, the next three episodes, if you're watching this on YouTube, the next three episodes, the last three episodes will be available on my Patreon. But in the meantime, like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. <laughs> Are you ready to say goodbye to Galactica? Because I know I'm not. I'm not. She's a good ship. She's a really good ship. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna sit here and think about it and dwell on it and uh, start crying my eyes out. I'm gonna save that for the uh, <laughs> finale. Oh man, wrapping up something that you love so much is so hard and like. I'm, I'm not comparing it to letting go of Galactica, but I am a little bit. It's like letting go of something that's become so special to me and that, you know, I I feel so tired and sad and wore down and invigorated and happy and mad and angry and, and, and irritated and like... You know, this show makes me feel all the feelings and, you know, I, I do end up watching something that makes me happy, whether it's an episode of Scrubs or what. But, you know, I, I, I do have to kind of watch those things to like just be like, I need to laugh right now, right now. Thank God. Colonel Ty was like showing his teeth. <laughs> He's like, and like as a dental professional, his teeth looks great for two thousand years old. Let me just state that. <laughs> but I, I needed that moment, and I needed to laugh. And uh, this show means so much to me, and it means so much that you guys have watched it with me, and that you've supported me the way that you have, and that we get to have the conversations that we do on a weekly basis. Even if I'm fighting with you guys in the comments about like, you know, uh, just opinions in general, uh, or if I'm agreeing with you or if we're having a good time in the comments like you know it's it's it, we fight like family we love like family and i have enjoyed every moment of this show and uh every moment that i've gotten to communicate and uh spend time with each and every one of you so i appreciate you guys Whew. finale's next so in the meantime <laughs>